This is how you're going to start attracting men who want to provide and take care of you. You're simply going to raise your standards. Here's how. Your standards are rooted in what you believe you're worthy of. The thought of being with a man who wanted to take care of me used to make me feel so uncomfortable. And when I dug in deeper as to why, I found that growing up, I had actually never witnessed a man that took care of his family. I only witnessed a badass independent mom. So I had to figure out what I had to do for myself to start feeling worthy of that type of treatment. So I dug into self-love and self-care. I thought getting my nails done, and taking a bath here and there was more than enough. It really goes so much deeper than that. I wasn't keeping promises to myself and so there was a lack of trust. I started focusing on how to pleasure myself, physically, sexually, and mentally. I was mindful of what I was putting in, on, and around my body. Nutrition, water intake, partners, and a ton of other things. Honestly, I started lusting after myself. And as my internal relationship changed, my outer relationships changed with it and started reflecting all of those feelings that I provided for myself. Came so... This is a dating coach, guys. This is a, a female dating coach that actively gets paid to coach other women on how to attract men, specifically men that will take care of them. Or, or let me say this a little bit better, men that will pay for all their shit. <laughs> now listen to her talk. Listen to the self-centered, arrogant attitude the narcissistic attitude it's completely one-sided it's completely biased now what part of her coaching does she tell women how to attract men how to please men what men are looking for what types of women men are looking for how to behave how to conduct yourself what kind of treatment he'll be looking for you know what physical characteristics he may look for this this none of that it's all centered around me 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 i i i and that's a common pattern that i'm starting to see right it's kind of common pattern that i'm starting to see it's like you know you, we're walking talking atms at this point <laughs> why don't we just just give them the money just just give it give it all to them right but they need us for productivity right men are are, are the ones who produce and here we are, we have a female dating coach that has a huge responsibility to try to coach women so that we can have some, some, some meaningful change. But here we are, this lady is internalizing her internal biases and projecting it onto to a new set of women. Now my takeaway from this clip is that this lady was brought up by a single mother and it completely makes sense, right? Because She's only seen uh, her strong, independent mom that don't need no man, right? That's the only example she's seen. So, of course, that's the example she runs with, you know? So, instead of understanding that she has some trauma that she needs to, to recognize and, and take care of, you know, she's telling women to basically just use hypergamy, get... Get, get the most out of the highest value man that you possibly can get. And keep on going up until, you know, you get everything you want. Toxic uh, stuff coming out of this woman's mouth. And it has nothing to do with how to benefit men. But anyways, I wanted to bring y'all this clip. You know, there's not much else I want to say about this. I just, I just think it's a little one-sided in my opinion. But anyways, if you like what I do, give a thumbs up. See y'all on the next one. Peace.